Hello my friends, this video is the first appendix to the OTM basic functional course I made available last month. Today I'm going to talk about an OTM feature that is surprisingly not well known, tracking. This is an OTM feature that provides diagnostic information about the actions you've been doing and is especially useful for discovering what's going on with that order that you can't plan into a shipment and you have no idea why. As you will see here, I will create a new order release based on an existing order that I have planned successfully before, so we know it's good. I will use the copy order release action to create it. Let's name it something like test invalid date and let's put a delivery date in the past so we know OTM won't be able to plan it. Now let's run the bulk plan and see what happens. As expected, OTM wasn't able to create a shipment from this order release. And sadly, there's no indication here of why that is. One way to find out would be reading the logs, but that's a bit technical and I will talk about it some other day. Another way is turning on the tracking. We can do it by clicking on the information link on the right top corner of the OTM screen and changing mode and severity from none to all and diagnostic from off to on. Now let's try to plan that order release once more. When bulk plan is completed you will notice a new button at the bottom of the screen. Click on it and OTM will display the tracking information of the action you just executed. There's all kinds of information here about what the planning has been doing, and if you look around, you'll notice there's a failure when OTM tried to evaluate the rate service. And here lies the problem, service time is invisible. The tracking is valid just for your session, so no one else's activities will be logged. And when you log out, the tracking will be automatically turned off. Hope that's useful to you, and uh, thanks for watching.